Hey everyone, this is Bree from Red Arrow Industries, and today I'm going to go over how to properly import graphics for broadcast in Avid Media Composer. You can access all of your import settings by choosing Options upon Import. Our first option is Image Size. This will depend on both your image or clip's frame size as well as aspect ratio. By choosing the correct image size adjustment for your image, this will ensure your image is not distorted upon import. Next, and most important to today's tutorial, is color levels. It is crucial to choose the proper color limit to ensure you meet broadcast standards. If you're working with Avid 7 or lower, this is worded differently. In the video mapping section, computer RGB was the same as scale to legal range, and 601 SD 709 HD, same as the do not modify option in Avid 8. This will be determined by the type of media you're importing. Most computer-generated graphics are made to be RGB with black as 0 and white as 255. Legal Broadcast Video, or 709HD, however, has a range of 16 to 235. Our first option is Do Not Modify, Treat as Legal Range. This does not clip image at video black or video white, and would be used for any video you are importing or graphics that either already meet legal range or purposely exceed broadcast range such as color bars or images that include true black for keying purposes. Our second option is scale from full range to legal range. This is the option for all your traditional computer generated graphics, whose black and white levels need to be assigned to meet video black and white levels, therefore bringing all these levels within the acceptable legal video signal range of 16 to 235. Now there is a dither option on computer RGB or the scale to legal range. It's useful if your graphics have gradients to prevent banding. Alpha channels are important, especially if the graphic you're importing must be seen over existing footage. This will be determined by the type of media you're importing. So choose what fits your specific media file to ensure that Avid reads your file correctly. Now, if you're unsure if you've chosen the correct import options, after importing, simply place your clips into a sequence, as I've done. You can quickly check by entering color correction mode and choosing the Y waveform from the drop-down menu. If the white and black levels extend beyond 16 and 235, then it will not meet legal broadcast requirements. I hope this was informative and helpful. For any other video ideas, comment below. Head over to our Facebook page at Red Arrow Industries and online at redarrowindustries.com. Thanks! Bye.